Good morning, everyone. And I know by the time you guys see this, for most of you out there, it's not going to be morning at all. But I want to say good morning because it's currently 5 a.m. here. And I don't know why I'm up. But you guys can probably tell my voice is a little bit lower than usual. It's it's so early here. I couldn't sleep very well last night. So what to better to do than to make an episode of CSK News? Let's hop into our first story for all of you guys, though. All around Optic Gaming and the huge changes they made a couple days ago. Of course, all today's stories are time marked down below, guys. There's a lot of great stories. But the first one is all about Optic. And of course, them now going to full European roster. It was a couple days ago where Con sent out this tweet people thinking is he gonna go back to north is he gonna go join phase or some other team out there is he gonna leave optic gaming in the dust and apparently not guys it meant they were gonna go a full European roster and indeed they have they have dropped their two North American players their IGL Stanislaw their opera Shazam will both be replaced by two heroic members and of course to fill in those roles it'll be snappy from heroic to fill the IGL role and Yugi to fill the opping role as well and yes optic gaming has now gone from North America 2016 all North American roster to now of course I guess you could leave out mixed well there but now a full European roster and if you would have told me back in 2016 Optic Gaming to own a European CSGO roster I would have called you absolutely crazy now on top of that as well they've also gone ahead and signed the ex-North coach that is actually Rugga I'm sure Cade and Config both ex-North players had some very heavy words to say about that but also I do want to briefly mention as well we did have Stannis launch Zams their parting way and their tweets that were sent out as well the day they left apparently some juicy information going on some deep some deep problems going on within Optic to actually cause this kick to happen and I cannot wait for Stannis Law to actually share and maybe Shazam as well to give us some information as to why exactly these guys were kicked without going to a single LAN event with a new Optic roster. Yes, many of you guys are aware of this, but they've only been with the team for a couple months now and this team did not see a single LAN event and these guys actually left the team without even you know seeing that event even happen. So it's kind of unheard of as well. But yes guys, a full European Optic roster as well as a new coach. I'm a Pets, actually their former coach. He's also now looking for European or North American offers. And very lastly about the subject, apparently the, the amazing heroic buyout for Yugi and Snappy was an amazing, astounding half a million dollars. So Optic Gaming is still giving a huge lump sum of cash to actually, of course, try and work out a CSGO team here and here and again. And on top of it as well, kind of a curious kick here. I'm not really sure what went down within the team in, in terms of morale or, you know, what kind of arguments went down because the team is still doing fairly well in, in ESL Pro League as well, especially their last two games. Stannis Law and Shazam doing very well before they got kicked. So really not sure what happened there with Optic Gaming, guys. They are now a fully European roster. And an absolutely breaking news, today's video is actually sponsored. So huge shouts to D market guys and I really quickly want to say thank you to the sponsor because I've been waiting for this for a long time. I've had several of my friends in the past few months actually say their, their OP skins accounts have been randomly blocked. Some people message me on Twitter as well and DMing me on Twitter and saying hey my balance on OP skins is gone. I don't know what to do. Their, their response team never told me exactly why. So with a few of you guys out there who are looking for a great new way to actually buy and sell CSGO skins, find some great deals. The great thing about new and trusted websites out there, D-Market's no, by no means new. They're actually a very well known uh, OP skins kind of like marketplace out there. I'll use my link down below for all of you guys who want to check it out or just sign up. You can actually find some great deals. So a lot of great websites out there that are not OP skins, you can find a great a great way of dealing in terms of selling and buying. So for all of you guys who want to check that out, my link is down below. Huge thanks to the sponsor. Let's bounce into our, actually our next story though. A very funny one out there. If you guys don't know who Neymar is, a professional football slash soccer player, however you want to pronounce it, he's been playing CSGO for quite some time. He's been following the SK Gaming team for quite some time as well. And he was actually on stream this past weekend. I thought I'd show you guys a funny moment with Neymar. Of course, what would you guys do if you ran into a professional a professional soccer player out there that you knew and loved? How would you react if he was trying to plant a bomb on you? Would you would you kill him or would you let him do this? No, no, no. And also, an absolutely breaking news for collegiate esports out there. I know a lot of you guys are younger fans, probably 16 to 18 years old, looking to go off to university or college out there. And I can tell you guys the progression so far for scholarships for playing video games has been astounding this past year or so. I've actually been talking to one going professional player, actually going to college for these esports. His name is Hunter Shrum. If you guys don't know Hunter Shrum, he's also the 18 year old who uh, made Reddit articles uh, about Lakeview High School, apparently in Ohio, where they canceled their esports program because of the violence inside the game of CSGO. 
now. I I'm, I'm cannot wait, guys. Once he graduates, I'll be doing an interview with him on here on CSGO News. So if you guys actually want to uh, leave a question for him, make sure to leave a comment down below with questions for him for that interview. But why I'm also going to interview him as well is because Hunter will be going to college on scholarship for playing CSGO. So an amazing story coming sometime soon for all of you. And also bouncing off that, many, many universities out there, he will be attending Ashland University, a university who's not only offering scholarships for CSGO, but now also offering scholarships for Fortnite. So it's going to be incredible to see the progress of what happens in the next few years when it comes to playing video games and for a collegiate sport. And so I cannot wait to actually give you guys updates on the story. And so wait, stay tuned guys for an interview soon about Hunter Shrum and of course his esports program in high school being shut down. Many high schools across the country here in America are shutting down their esports programs because of of course school shootings going on here in America. And so I want to talk about that with him and also talk about the future of collegiate esports and of course being paid to play video games. And also another news out there that brought to us by Dust2US. If you guys do not know their website, great news website. I'll link them down below, guys. They're always linked down below as well as a common source. But on top of that, they've also reported two things around Splice Gaming. The first of which, to no surprise out there, I know you guys are not going to be surprised by this, but Splice Gaming actually might be leaving CSGO. Now, this past week, they've actually been brought up to apparently ES, uh, ESL Pro League relegation matches. Of course, they had their last couple matches here, and they could be relegated. And those relegation matches that do go on, apparently Exotic, one of their members, cannot make it due to visa issues. Now, this actually caused steel. If you guys know Joshua Nissan, he actually tweeted out this and a very, very, you know, and I, honestly, a pretty a pretty good tweet here by him because it's very true. We've had many, many people the past few months and the past few years with CSGO have these visa issues out of nowhere, whether you're a Chinese player or a Brazilian player. Most of the time it happens when players are actually trying to go back and forth between America. America still has big problems when it comes to, of course, giving visas for the game of esports, uh, you know, not really acknowledging it as a true professional sport right now. But again, you know, Josh makes a great point. A visa issue, uh, you know, it should not really be a thing. Once you join a team or even before you join a team, you should be applying for your visas as soon as possible because the process can be strenuous, but once you get it, it lasts for a long amount of time. This, of course, was kind of direct, uh, you know, um, people thought it was actually, of course, in response to Exotic not having the, the visa requirements for ESL Pro League matches and the relegation matches. Uh, and Exotic actually replied to him with a kind of a, a nasty tweet. He actually did delete that. Uh, to give you guys kind of the, the gist of what it meant, Exotic actually replied to Josh and pretty much told him to shut up and not talk about things he didn't know about. But I would agree with Steele here, guys. Steele really doesn't know what he's talking about and all the players out there who are actually watching if you're on a professional team right now do yourself a favor for the future and get a visa issue figured out but apparently splice gaming guys if they are get relegated if they do get relegated from esl pro league without that esl pro league money guys apparently splice gaming will be another north american team like clg to bite the dust and very last today's episode of csk news guys we do have updates from shocks apparently his surgery went just fine his recovery is going even better guys he has 90 percent of his capacities back and he should be back sometime soon to of course playing csgo full time and again you guys already know the rumors out there of his new French team in the making right now. So his surgery went well, guys. Recovery went well as well. And it can be really good to see when Shox is back, who he actually has joined his roster. Now, on top of that, very lastly, though, we do have good guys Simple coming back. If you do not know, guys, Simple has now given all of his FPL prize winnings to Gamers Outreach, a charity, of course, a video game charity as well. So congratulations, Simple, man. That is just really kind of you. I love the whole charity thing. And congratulations to you. What a, what a great move to make out of nowhere as well, the kindness of your heart. So Simple giving all of his winnings to a Gamers Outreach outreach charity that's just amazing to see now very lastly of course i just want to thank you guys for watching today's episode of csco news i will see you guys all in a couple days with another csco news weekend recap and of course next week as well with another uh, cases uh video thank you guys all for the great response if you guys did see my video on that i compared valve csco cases to other gambling site cases i paid for it in my own pocket but i want to make it a five-part series where i kind of up the ante every time and pay more money i already have episode two planned out so i cannot wait to release that sometime next week so i'll see you guys all on live stream tonight and i'll see you guys all in more news on a couple days as well. If you guys all enjoy, please leave a comment down below. I'll see you all then. My name is Jake. It's uh, 545. Okay, I got a real problem here. I promised a friend I would talk about Smuya for at least 10 seconds in this video, if not the next video and the one after that. So if you guys were curious, uh, no one's really talking about Smuya out there. There was a QI Invitational this past week. Sorry, it's echoing. And uh, yeah, we actually had Team Big, their newest member, Smuya, carrying Team Big to a loss. They got swept by Tyloo. <laughs>